Welcome to One Minute Kiss Kit, where we answer your questions and share Kiss Kit tips and tricks. This week, the question is What is the difference between logical qubits and physical qubits? When we create a quantum circuit in Kiss Kit and then run it directly on a quantum device or simulator, the quantum information of each qubit in our circuit is stored in an individual qubit on the device or simulator. For example, we can create a circuit with a qubit in the one state. As the qubit is initially in the zero state, we apply an X gate to prepare the one state. If we run this directly on a quantum device or simulator, then one physical qubit on our device or simulator corresponds to one qubit in our quantum circuit. However, Real qubits are subject to noise from the environment, which causes errors in the states of physical qubits. To protect the qubit's information, we can encode a single qubit's information in multiple physical qubits. The result is a logical qubit spread out across however many physical qubits are used to encode it. As a simple example, here I've encoded our one state using a repetition code which spreads out the logical qubit's information onto three physical qubits by applying controlled NOT gates. Now, if the noise from a real device causes an unwanted X gate to be applied to one of the physical qubits, then there will be two physical qubits in the desired one state and one physical qubit with an error flipped to the zero state. To recover the logical qubit's information, we can then check what state the qubits are in. We check whether there are more qubits in the zero state or the one state. Here we see there's two qubits in the one state and one in the zero state, indicating that there was a single bit flip error. So the original logical qubit was in the one state. To actually protect and correct quantum information using logical qubits, we need more complex ways of encoding the logical information, finding out what errors occurred and correcting them. This forms the basis of research into quantum error correction, which is essential for protecting large numbers of qubits from noise on physical devices. If you have a question, feel free to leave it in the comments. Subscribe for more One Minute Kiss Kits as well as other quantum and Kiss Kit related videos. Thanks for watching, bye!